So I'd like to take a look at the traveling salesman problem. And I'll just put it into context to begin with, um, that the traveling salesman problem, abbreviated as TSP, is just a Hamiltonian circuit. Okay? Well, I guess not just a Hamiltonian circuit, but it is a Hamiltonian circuit. So, we've got a few criteria that we need to remember. Like a Hamiltonian circuit, circuit it's going to stop and end on the same node. Similar to a Hamiltonian circuit, you can only visit each node once. And now we have a third requirement in here, that it's going to be the shortest route to all the nodes. So it's going to be the shortest possible um, distances, or the shortest possible time, whatever you're actually measuring in, between all the different nodes. So if you think about being a traveling salesman, you know, if you're going to leave your office and go visit five shops in town that you're selling your product to, you wouldn't want to pick the fastest way to get between those five shops. Maybe that's with a measure of driving time, so it's not necessarily distance, but maybe how long the traffic is between. Or you might actually be looking at distance because you want to save on petrol or something like that. Or maybe you're walking, so you don't want to walk as far. So with the traveling salesman problem, um, an important thing for us is to make sure that we know the difference between um, what a distinct, basically, route is. So. Um, we need to be careful not to get, and we talked about it in the trans, um, traversability ones as well, in the Hamiltonian ones, is that distinct routes we make sure that they're not just the same thing forwards or backwards. So it's helpful to use a pencil or different colored pens just so you can erase as you go or try out different things. So the first thing that you want to do is basically try to identify all your possible paths through the network. And in this case, we're usually um, basically starting, in this case, we're starting at A, so you can think of A as like the office of the traveling salesman. So we're going to start on A. And we want to try and find um, any possible Hamiltonian um, path, or Hamiltonian circuit, sorry, that gets us through this network. So we start at A and we end at A, and we've gone through every single one. So we could go A, B, C, E, D, back to A again, and that would work. So to calculate our distances, we need to calculate by adding up all those different paths, so or edges. So it's 13 plus 19 plus 7 plus 15 plus 25 plus 79, or sorry, equals 79, and here I'll put units, kilometers. So if we want to look for another one, again thinking about A, starting here. Um, let's try B again. If I go from A to B, is there a different way that I can go this time? So instead of going down to C, maybe I will go to E and then to C, and then to D, and then to A. And you can see here it's taken a slightly different um, order through the nodes, so it is going to be distinct. It's not just the same thing backwards and forwards. So A, B, E, C, D, A, this one here. And if you add them up, you get a total of 65 kilometers. So you can see that is a shorter path, shorter circuit to complete everything. Um, if we take a look at another one, if I go to B, there's really no other options. I've done both B to E and B to C, so I need to think about going to a different spot first. So if I try going to E, what happens? If I go to E, I can go to B, I can go to C, I can go to D, and I can go back to A. So again, you can see it's not the same as any of the previous ones that I've done. And let's see if I can find A, E, B, C, D, A. And in the ones that they've written down, you'll notice that it, I don't see that A, that order A, right here, A, E, B, C, D, A, written down. But if you look at in reverse, so basically the exact same thing backwards, A, D, C, B, E, A, it's this one here. So I won't write them both down because one is just the reverse of the other. And if I add up everything along that blue circuit, 25, 11, 19, 9, and 5, I get 69 kilometers. And so now we're trying to find that last um, distinct route. And so let's think about what we can do. Actually, if I go to D again, um, or if I go to E, uh, I can make it around, but it's going to be the exact same as before. So maybe let's try something slightly different. Um, so A, E, and this time I'll go to D, 
And then from here, I've got to go to C and B and A. So you can see that black one is different than all the others as well. And it ends up being this one here. So 13 plus 19 plus 11 plus 5 plus 15 equals 63 kilometers. So this one ends up being our traveling salesman, uh, the route that you'd want to take because it's the shortest path possible. So if you're going along on these, and you're trying to pick up a new route because you don't know that there's only four, you might try a few other things, but you might get yourself stuck. So for instance, if I went, just use a highlighter so you can see, if I went from A to E out to C, there's no way for me to get to everything without n not making a Hamiltonian by going through a circuit that's, or going through a node that's already been visited. So that's not going to work. And if I try any other situation, I might end up just um, following something that's already been done before. So if you notice this one goes back over um, the green path, the green circuit through there, it's following the green circuit just in the reverse order, so I can't use it. So that's sometimes the hard part with these problems. We won't tell you how many distinct um, ways there are through it, but you've really got to dig around and see if you can find them all. Um, and yeah, that, I guess that would be the difference between getting the problem right or wrong, is if you don't look hard enough, you might not find the shortest one. So you really want to make sure that you cover them all. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a way, um, if the diagrams get too messy for you, I'm going to show you a way to do a um, kind of like a tree diagram to make sure that you've actually looked at every single possibility in the network. So that'll be in the next one.